Welcome back to a new video. So as the title does suggest, I did hit a <laughs> lifetime deadlift PR on a day where I wasn't even really planning on doing any pulls of any sort. But I left the um, audio from my camera so you guys could hear that I didn't have a choice. I was uh, morally obligated to continue to pull heavier after I pulled 270. I was peer pressure, positive peer pressure, but <laughs> I was positively peer pressured into uh, going heavier. And honestly, at this point, I'm glad I did. I'm obviously gonna pay for it for a recovery standpoint. And on the Saturday, the day after this uh, session, I'm probably not gonna be able to hit crazy big numbers, but you know, a lifetime PR, it's pretty dope to be able to do on a random day. But the session started out with muscle snatches, as you saw, up to 80. And then I did powers up to 100, where I missed the power, but did a full rep and I was decently happy with. It's interesting to look how easy 90 looked and then how much uh, 100 pushed me down. But that's kind of, you know, if you're going to miss a power, I'd rather it miss like that, of course, than missing the lift entirely. Same thing happened with clean jerks. I got up to um, 120 for the last power, and then I tried to power 130. But as you'll see, it pushed me all the way down, which um, I'm very happy with how the 130 felt because I definitely was trying to fight the power, but <laughs> trying to fight the power, I sound like a social justice warrior. But I was trying to fight to power the weight and it pushed me down, but my legs weren't super far spread out. We'll just leave that in. You see me turn off the camera. But my legs weren't super far out because sometimes what happens with power cleans is I kind of go Iranian with it and spread my feet too far out. So then when I get pushed all the way down, I'm in a very not, uh, not good and comfortable position. And I'm sometimes not able to squat it up because I'm you know so far spread out. But I kept my legs in a good enough position to where when I did the full clean, essentially, it felt normal. And the jerks felt good. The 60 kilo here, I kind of had a Tremekin, Tremekin, the whatever that guy's name is, the Russian who can't uh, touch the bar to his chest with 220 kilos. I had that with 60 on the right side, so it's definitely my right wrist is a little bit sore and tight, and it's definitely impacting at least with the super light weights. Once I get to like a weight like this, like 120 here, it isn't really impacting anything, and I don't really feel discomfort in the snatch nor in the jerk. It's mostly just like light weights in that front rack. But here is the the 130. Um, after I did this clean and jerk essentially, because not not a pow a pow at all. I moved on, like I said, to doing some pulls. I started with snatch pulls up to 150 and then did some clean pulls. So I'm trying to time this right because I want to show the actual gym audio because it was um, when the really strong power lifter guys came in. They're called the hogs and they come in pretty late at night. So usually towards the end of my sessions, if I'm um, in there pretty late and they uh, positively peer pressured me to go up to 30. Well, they, they didn't say what weight, but I, I decided 305. I was originally going to do 302, but I realized I was going to match my lifetime PR, which would be uh, just insanity to do when I could try 305. But once I did 290, I was really surprised. And yeah, so this is the last clean pull, although I did with 270, but here you go. with consciousness about halfway up too. I don't know if you heard my chuckle in the middle of that, but I just left the microphone recording and just was super quiet during it. But uh, those guys are always really good motivation for the, the strength lifts, especially the deadlift, because that's usually, I don't want to say I don't have the motivation for it, but you know, it's nice to have people kind of pressuring you to do more in the sense that like, you're just going to try harder when people are watching you for, for any, any lift, not just for a deadlift, but I'm excited to uh, have hit that. I don't really think it's going to help me much in weightlifting, but it's just nice for, you know, 
accomplishing a new thing but that's gonna be it for this one hopefully i'm not totally wrecked for the session that i'm gonna end up doing today when i'm recording the audio but uh i have a feeling i'm not gonna feel too great but that kind of you know it's a cost i'm willing to pay but uh yeah that's it for this one talk to you in the next video have a great day peace